The other question we get asked when we run these programs is, how many new customers do I actually need? And how many um, prospects do I have to feed through the top of the funnel in order to deliver those new customers? So this is one of those uh, systems that you can build up and you can measure over time and you can understand better your um, conversion rates at each stage of the process. But to start with, it quite often is a little bit of a finger in the air and a best guesstimate. Um, but as you run the programs, you get better and you understand what your conversion rates are. So we start at the top of the funnel with those leads of inquiries, and then we actually have to contact this business. Um, we go through some sort of qualification to make sure they're on profile for us and they're right to buy from us. Then we might get to a quote and a sale and they actually become a customer. And at each of those stages, we're going to lose some of that pool. So knowing at the start how many you need to deliver your business plan and your estimated growth that you want to achieve can be quite difficult if you haven't tracked this before. But one of the beauties of these systems is you actually will be get better at tracking them and you can see if your conversion rates are better at some stages and poorer at others, that there might be a reason to look at those poorer conversion rates in your business and try and find out why that is. So it's not always to do with the marketing. It might also be that the selling process isn't exactly as it should be. But if you don't start measuring and monitoring, you don't know how to measure and, and improve later. So this is something that will improve over time if you do it correctly.